Hey everyone, Andrew here. Hope you enjoyed my Easter video. Uh, here, here's the remains of my uh, goo-filled uh, hollow chocolate bunny. Um, I had a second one just in case I needed to do reshoots. Um, and I thought, well, what am I going to do th with this? Well, I had an idea. What if I made a s'mores Easter bunny? Hmm? So, uh, my plan is to use the, uh, it's in my kitchen right now, is use the marshmallow fluff and some, uh, mix it with uh, graham crackers, uh, toast the marshmallows and just stuff it in a new bunny and see how that works out. Oh, uh, in all seriousness, It's really, really sweet, obviously, but it's honestly not too bad at all. This is a bit too much. Want to dial that back a bit, but it's certainly more fun and satisfying <laughs> than a hollow chocolate bunny. But, um, yeah, let's see if we can make a s'mores bunny. I didn't have any graham crackers, so I went to the store to get graham crackers and Vaughn's wasn't selling them in small packages, and I didn't want a huge box of graham crackers, and I didn't want to pay five fifty for graham crackers, so I bought a, a graham cracker pie crust for two bucks. Uh, I'm sure this will work just fine. <laughs> okay, so what I was wondering is, should I mix the marshmallow and graham cracker, then toast it, or toast the marshmallow, then mix the graham cracker in? I'm going to toast the marshmallow first uh, to keep because I, I tried it both ways and it becomes too heavy with the graham crackers in it and it just kind of keeps falling off the spoon and into my, into my stove top so we're uh, just going to do a spoonful of fluff at a time so we'll get a spoonful of fluff turn on the burner here i tried just spreading a marshmallow out on a piece of parchment paper and putting that under the broiler uh but that didn't really pan out. Um, kind of just expanded and caramelized and turned into turned into kind of a chewy cracker. Uh, so completely the wrong texture, but it was pretty tasty. Now this would be a lot better if I had a kitchen torch, but I do not. So we're having to do it this way. This one seems broken. Okay, so no need to decapitate uh, my chocolate bunny, which uh, would have been fun, but uh, it was already broken. And unfortunately, that's pretty uneven. And it's got a hole in the back. So that's... That's not ideal, but um, you play the hand you're dealt. All right, it's amazing how much more efficient I got with each scoop. Um, I also quickly figured out that once I toasted one side, I could push the marshmallow off and then catch it and do the reverse side. So I've got a nice bowl of roasted marshmallow here. And I've got my uh, graham crackers, which will crumble up. Okay. Yep. Tastes like marshmallow and graham cracker, but it has that <clears throat> has that toasted flavor to it. So that's good. There we go. Makeshift pastry bag. 
<laughs> yeah, whatever. Load pastry bag. All right, we've got our decapitated bunny. We're going to want to fill both ends. So we cut off the end of our pastry bag. And voila. Filled bunny head. All right. Okay. Cool. Now, we could probably... Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to um, saw you know decapitate this bunny with like a bread knife, just make an even cut, and that way I could heat up a uh, frying pan and then just slightly melt both sides and then put it together and call it a day. Um, that's not going to work with such with this uneven break, um, and I don't have like a lighter or anything. I could try to do it with a match, but that would be a pain in the butt, and I don't want to. But we do have this sticky marshmallow. So, we could Now we'll put the bunny back together as best we can because it's going to have a hole on this side which you can see. There we go. Now we can spackle this end here. All right. Again, not pretty, but it works. All right. Hollow Chocolate S'mores Bunny is in the fridge, and hopefully its head will stay on. And um, it is currently Friday. Pretty good one. I mean, maybe not the best Friday, but um, yeah. I'm comfortable calling it a good Friday. And uh, I guess I will uh, see you on the Sunday stream where I will try out my uh, S'mores Bunny. Because... Yeah, don't you want me filling my face with this garbage on camera? I'm sure that's an appetizing thing to watch. Anyway, hope you're all having a good Friday. Or by the time you see this, had a good Friday. And are having a wonderful Easter. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.